what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? South Bronx rapper Lil TJ was celebrating his 19th birthday and he wanted to have a little fun. So he flew in fellow Atlanta-based rapper, Ruby Rose. Everything was all good. They were partying and laughing it up, posting photos on social media. It was all good until it was time for Ruby to head back home. That's when things went south. The TJ refused to buy Ruby a ticket and she called the cops. Now, Here's the deal, fam. I know some of you are saying, who the hell is Lil TJ? Who is Ruby Rose? I know, I get it, I get it. See, I'm up on these type of things because I'm in the industry, so I gotta always be watching what's happening. Now, I'm not covering this because I'm being nosy and all of that type of stuff. I thought it was a good topic because I've actually been there. And if I've been there, I'm sure a few others have been there. And I got some game for y'all that I'll reveal in a moment. But let me finish telling the story. So the fans go in on Ruby Rose, saying she was dumb for flying out there in the first place in the midst of a pandemic. She's supposed to be quarantining. And she went out there to call her thought and said she was thirsty and people were also calling her a fool for passing up the opportunity to date rapper DDG. Her reason? Because he was eight days younger than her. <laughs> Family, where they get him from? He was eight days younger than her, so she didn't want to date him. I guess she thought he was too immature. <laughs> she thought she was robbing the cradle. Okay. Here's my story. Ironically, the backdrop is also New York. I fly in to New York from Houston with this girl who I had only known for perhaps a couple of months. We went out a couple of times in the city. So we go to New York. It's a major event going on. We go to New York. She's never been to New York. So her first time, she's, she's ready. We get there and we're having a good time. As the night progresses, she does something that runs me hot. So I decide that, well, I'm not going to fly her back to Houston because I was hot. At this time, people are not, we had round trip tickets, but I was in control of the tickets and they were paper tickets. They were not issuing electronic tickets at that time, the e-tickets, right? So my boy said, don't do that, man. Don't do that. And after thinking about it, cooler heads prevail. Well, a cooler head prevail. And she flew back to Houston with me. And that was the last time I saw her in the flesh. That was it. I cut off. What I'm getting to is this, fellas. When a woman is in your presence, especially if she's in your home or you are out on a trip with her or a date with her, she is your responsibility. Now, I know some of you might be saying, well, no, nah, man, I mean, she, you know, she, 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 she grown, you got equal rights and, you know, she wants this and equality. Let me tell you something. The courts are going to take the woman's side. 
Society is going to take the woman's side. And you leave a woman stranded if you want to. And watch what happened to your ass. If something happens to that woman, you are going to be held liable in the court of public opinion. And perhaps in the court of law. I'm telling you what I know, not what I heard. Get that woman back home safely. If you want to cut off after that, cut off. It's immature to entertain a woman and when she does something that you don't like, you put her out the car and you know, put her life in jeopardy or you leave her wherever she is or whatever and you take off. That's immature, man. And I was immature at the time. I was very young at the time. Immature, you know. Uh, not a good idea. And not to mention that hell knows no fury like a woman scorn. So that woman could easily call the cops and say, you know, you did this, you did that. I mean, you know, just add something to the, to the whole story that's totally untrue. Out of, just out of vengeance, you know, out of spite. Now I know everybody grown and they're going to do whatever they want to do. But if you make that bed hard, don't be surprised if it becomes uncomfortable. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about?